Now to a new study by our Norfolk hospital systems showing how quickly COVID-19 transmits on school buses. Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters and Eastern Virginia Medical School teamed up to study how the virus travels between students and drivers when sitting closely but wearing masks on a school bus. Anne Sparacco tells us what this means as your kids head back to school. Sending your child back to school on a bus can be unnerving following the recent school year division's experience with COVID-19. It's reasonable for parents to have some have concerns and, and be worried. But a new study between the Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters and Eastern Virginia Medical School is showing hope when it comes to transmission rates between students and drivers on school buses. The busing system was, was truly a problem for some schools in the sense that there's not enough buses or enough bus drivers to double the amount um, in order to space students out as much as needed to need be. Associate Professor of Pediatrics with CHKD and EVMS Dr. Dana Ramirez says researchers studied more than 450 students with the Norfolk Academy. All the students who rode in only 15 buses wore masks and sat less than two and a half feet apart on the bus with some windows cracked for ventilation. We had no transmission from student to student, no transmission from student to adult and no transmission from adult to student or adult to adult. So it was it was very um, positive results at the end. Absolutely no transmission. Um, we were a little bit surprised that there wasn't a single case. Ramirez says keeping everyone on the bus masked up and cracking the windows for ventilation play a key part in promising low transmission rates when sending your child to school. In Norfolk, Ann Sparacco for 13 News Now. Well, researchers conducted the study from September 2020 until March 2021 during the height of the pandemic. Dr. Ramirez says the research does not include the Delta variant, but they want to look into it for this year. Breaking news out of Portsmouth. We just learned the boy shot last night has died. We were just telling you about this story not five minutes ago, but this confirmation from police coming just seconds ago. Police tell us the 15 year old was found on Chowan Drive around 830 last night. This homicide.